Hi guys, this is our unit converter so far. We can, uh, with it, we can convert any type of length unit to any other unit. And obviously we can put any value we wish and it'll convert it, no problem. Uh, now the thing is, how do we take that converter to the next step? The next step would be to, con to be able to convert other types of units. Currently, we can only convert lengths. How about pressure or speed? And I've already built a prototype or, or you know, the next level here. And here you can see now length, that's what we got. But now I can choose pressure and I can um, convert pressures or I have speed and I can convert speeds. So how do we go from here to here? Well, there are multiple steps we have to, we have to do. First of all, we have to um, update the database or enhance the database. Then we have to slightly modify our main function and then we have to do all this work here basically have a new drop down and have it you know once i choose because the thing is once i choose the type the type it has to give me the, the right drop downs because i mean if i go now if I, I'm, I'm now at speed i've got this these drop downs relate to speed once i go to length you know how do i get then these you know, these now are relevant to length, not to speed. How do I get that? So this is a multi-step process. Now let's start. First thing, what the most important thing is, is the database itself. And this is currently our database. It has these fields and we have to enhance it with a, with a further field, which is basically, let's call it the genre basically the type of conversions we need to do. So how do I go about that? Well, uh, in, this, in this application, DB Browser for SQLite, we can just go here and modify table. And we have to add a new field. And that field would be, uh, let's call it genre. And that's also text. And let's push it up move it up, 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 up. So there you go. So that's now that field that's done. And I go back to browse data. And now I have here um, basically this, this field. And now what I got to do is basically input um, the term length because all what we got right now or what we got until now is basically uh, length so and that's what we got here now the next step is to add the other another, another genre for instance pressure and then have these do the same stuff we did here basically have the the full form the short form of the unit full form of the two unit uh, short form of the two unit and then the conversion factor and there's a there are multiple ways to do that. The way I did it, basically, the end goal is basically to have to have this um, insert code. This is basically the end goal. And I did all this work in Excel because Excel is the perfect tool to generate such uh, insert codes. And uh, this is basically the code I then uh, um, put in the database and uh, thus enhance my my database um, it's very very i mean it's, it's not it's not uh, it's not that uh, complicated basically what i did i had a, a matrix basically all the from units all the two units and put all these conversion factors which i took out from from that unit converter on google and then basically based on formulas, you can see here the formula is quite a long formula. Based on a formula, I just created the insert code and uh, that 
I could easily generate that code. The same thing I did with, with speed. I just copied that table and did the same thing for, for speed and got the insert code here. And uh, finally, if, we, if I look at, it, at, the, at the end, this is then the end database where I have like uh, length uh, and then I have uh, pressure, all the pressure data and all the speed data. And the beauty about the Excel solutions that now all I have to do is copy this tab and I can hence add a new genre of dimensions, just change some numbers here. And then uh, I, I got new insert code, which I then in my uh, database, I can just introduce as ex execute code. And you see here, that's the last code I did where I had to insert the uh, speed. So that's, that's the way I did to enhance my database. You could do it any other way you want. You can basically also do it in Excel and then import the complete table as a CSV. There are multiple ways of doing it. Um, so, and, and it doesn't involve any Python in that. So, so, so that's the first step. We, we, we did our database and that database is now working and basically the data should be in this form. Right. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is we have to go in our code. The first thing is we have to uh, change our index file and our function. Let's start with our function. This is our current function, the one we have, and we have to take out a couple of things because this function cannot do them anymore. Let, let me go back to the, to the web app. So now here we've got our web app and let's look at the way it works. Uh, once every time you change the genre, these things have to change automatically. Now what happens here is that we have we are producing those drop downs currently, we're producing those drop downs in here, in, in, in the function itself. And you see here, here's, uh, here's uh, the from units and uh, sorry here's the yeah um let, let me just uh, i think i've got word wrap it makes it easier exactly now here we have the the, the from units drop down is being created here and here we have the two units drop down being created and then here the function is outputting these this this work this work here cannot be done with um with, with, with this function anymore because this work has to be done prior to calling the function. So the function cannot generate the dropdowns anymore because now the dropdowns, these dropdowns or, or the listing of those things in the dropdown has to be done prior to calling the function. The function has to be called where the genre and these already fixed. So, so what happens here is that I have to take these guys out. That has to be removed. Let's comment this out. And this here has to be removed as well. And obviously these two inputs have to be removed. And this kind of work has to be done in the index file itself. Because now the index has got to do all the work prior to calling the function. Because right now the index, the index file has to, you know, once you call length, then the index file has to call the database and get all those units related to length. If you call the function, it'll be too late. You'll have to do that prior to the function. And then once you got this stuff sorted, then you can call the function. So, so the first step is to comment this stuff out. The next step would be to modify the index and do exactly that work which we did here. Basically, let's let's magnify that. What you did here, you you just did you just called select distinct and got all the convert to units from the table. And here you did the same thing, select distinct, get all the convert from uh, the table. And here this this work has to be done in the index file right now, and that's what we're gonna do. So this is our index file, and you see here that um, we have the dropdowns here. They're being created. That's the two units, and those are the from units, and they're being created based on a list from, from, from the function itself. This 
has to go out. We can't use that anymore because the function is not outputting these lists anymore. We just change that. And now this kind of work has to take place. Let's cut it out. Has to take place before calling the function. Here we call the function and we got to do that work way before that. And, um, and that means here, somewhere here, we do this work and then you get your inputs your sorry your uh, your your inputs and you send these inputs to the to the to the function itself and then it returns whatever it returns right now and here we have to enhance another thing which is basically the the genre the conversion genre so how do we go about that well first of all we put this line we enhance this line so this is the first step we have now a new input which is a conversion genre it is set as standard to length if there's no form input otherwise get the form input it's the same thing like what we did here we just added it to that now the next step is to create the drop down for the genre and here's the code for that we're basically doing exactly the same thing we're doing in a function i mean look here i am importing sqlite i'm calling the database and doing a connection getting the cursor and at the cursor and then i'm, I'm doing select this thing genre i'm ex doing exactly what i did in the in the function itself down down there where i down here i'm doing exactly the same thing as here i'm selecting distinct and then getting it all and then putting in a list so here what i'm doing is basically the same thing i'm calling the database getting that database getting the cursor sending select distinct genre from conversion factors so i'm getting all the genres i need and then parsing these in a list called conversion genres and then after that, what I do, I create a drop down for the genres. And here's the drop down for the genres. It's basically the same thing we did down here, except the only th the only difference is when we did these drop downs for uh, from and to unit, what we did, we had already the list from the function. And here we're getting that we're getting that list right here in the index file. So we have here uh, the, the the drop down menu. And we're creating it based on that list conversion genres, which is basically being created here out of the database. And that's how we do the, the, uh, the drop down for uh, genres. And then we repeat the same process for the from units and for the to units. So instead of calling the function, uh, instead of calling the function to get a list of all the from units, we are generating them here because, because the, the the query has changed previously our previous query if you look at it we just said select distinct convert from from there there was no filter no where now we need a where statement why because we've got genre which conversion which convert from units do you need well those from whatever genre i picked so that's why and this has to be done before calling the function so this is now taking place for uh, this is this the query I need to send to get the from units and then this from this drop down doesn't change that stays it's just that the from units are now coming here and not from the function itself right and the same thing is happening here with the two units where I need to uh, get the query and place it in here so now I have also the database query for the convert to uh, um, units and then i have this two units list and this list is being generated from by parsing whatever the database gets out by this query again this query differences to the previous query our previous query uh, regarding uh, convert to units putting convert to units in a drop down our query went this this far now we have to include genre and genre is coming from that drop down so once we got that, we got our drop downs. So and that's it. Then the rest 
stays the same. And then what happens is that every time what let's let's go through the through the motions. I mean, um, so uh, right. So now, first of all, what's happening every time I'm calling the index? First of all, this query is taking place, and it gets me all the genres. So that's my drop down here. Now, what happens here? What does this drop down do? This drop down is you can see it here on change. This form submit. So anytime I change a genre, this form gets submitted. And when this form gets submitted, what happens is that these queries get called. First of all, this query for the from units, and then further down here, this query for the two units. And these queries provide a list for these dropdowns, and hence these dropdowns are being created once this form is sent. And, and then, only then, is the uh, is the and then after that so basically yeah and then after that the function gets called so let me repeat that again so first of all when i start um so i've just reduced the size of of this uh, code because you don't need to read it exactly you just need to uh, you know see the blocks so basically if i call the index what happens first is that this uh, database is being called this code is being carried out Database being called and it's getting this query, select distinct genre from conversion factors. So what it does, it goes through the different, and there's a database, and it goes through this genre, and it picks distinct means each, each genre is picked just one. So it picks speed, it picks pressure, and it picks length, right? Okay, so that's done. Then, um, then it uh, it creates a list called conversion genres and that list is basically what comes out of the database and then based on that list this drop down is being created so basically this code generates this drop down and this code has this form submit meaning once i change anything in this drop down once I, me as a user change to another genre then this database call is being done and in this in this database calls call what it does it goes to convert it selects distinct convert from basically the from units from the same table but difference to our previous uh, query was a uh, previous uh, you know to our query in the previous videos was that now we have to take into account what genre previously we only had length we didn't you know there's no need for genre but now we have a genre so basically we need to, to cater for that and that's why we need that where statement that where, where statement takes whatever we picked and then based on whatever we picked the database query is being sent and it creates a list for those units related to that genre we picked and then based on that list this drop down gets done and the same process gets repeated basically for the two units and then once this is all done then what we have are our function inputs. We have the genre, we have the, the value, we have the two unit, uh, uh, sorry, the from unit and the two unit. So, and then, oh, this is now basically the, the, the two unit drop down, and then we have here our inputs. And if you notice, one thing I forgot here is I have to enhance my inputs with a further parameter. And that further per parameter, or actually, hold on a second, no, I don't because the way it is right now it is completely correct because the value input is now dependent on these two and in each genre you'd have different units so if i pick pressure uh, my function does not need to know the genre it just needs to know these and these are only found in pressure you will not found, find these in another genre so that's why i don't need to have genre in my function. I don't need to change my function uh, inputs. Okay, and then the rest of the function works the same. And the only change we did to our function is we cannot have it generate these to and from units anymore for the dropdowns because like we saw here, the dropdowns are being created prior to calling the function and not afterwards. And that's how we moved from uh, something like that, which is only able to, to convert uh, length, 
to something like that, which can convert now anything. And I mean, yeah, sure. I just have now three things here, but like, you know, adding further, further uh, genres in my database is no more a, 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 a programming problem. It's just a data problem. I just have to add that data and then this, uh, then this, um, this uh, application will then take that data because it depends on what you input in the database. I mean, if I add here a, a new genre with all those conversions, that, that will appear here as a further entry. And then I just have to pick it. So right now I have actually achieved what I needed from our, from our base model, which was the Google or the unit converter found on Google. Let me just call it just to, just to show or just to, for us to compare uh, unit or convert units. And there you go. And now you see if I pick length, I have like the meters and, uh, and the from units and the two units. And that's exactly, let's pick length. And I've got exactly here the same thing. I can input the units and I'm getting the output. And if I go to, um, to pressure, I automatically get pressure drop downs and I got the same uh, actually here now I've got pressure drop downs and if I pick um, speed now I've got speed drop downs and same thing here okay so the only thing I gotta do now to make my um, my uh, unit converter complete is basically add all these guys but like I said this is just adding more data and I don't have to alter anything on my program so um, the next step would be to basically um, clean up a bit because what I don't like is uh, all that stuff taking place in the index. I would like to have the index as simple as possible and to have, uh, sorry, not here, I'm, uh, yeah, over here, uh, to have this stuff, this, this, all this drop down creation, all that. I would like it to have, to have it wrapped up somewhere differently somewhere in a in a function maybe or something else to to keep the index clean because now right now we have sort of a i don't know sort of a mix some work is taking place in the index file and some other work taking place in the function not very clear not very readable not very organized and this is now quite a simple project and you see it's gotten a bit uh, uh, you know uh, disorganized shall we say and uh, in the next videos i would like to organize that in a better way